Hello, we're going to take a look at doing custom command bar options for SharePoint lists and libraries. When you're in SharePoint, you'll notice a menu bar which appears with default options. And in most cases, those are fine. Um, it, th this provides a lot of flexibility to users and a lot of possibilities. You can see that the menu is different according to whether I'm in a list or library. And also it's gonna be different um, depending on whether I have an item selected. You'll see that the toolbar will change. With this template, you can control the toolbar in terms of which options are used, uh, which options are not used. Those would be the ones that would be excluded. And then you can do other things like change the icon or change the command text. There's a lot of different possibilities in terms of what you can do. Uh, I would recommend first reading through the notes. And there is a link to a Microsoft page which provides um, co comprehensive information about uh, what all is being customized. Of course, the advantage with this template, you will not have to modify the custom code. Another thing you can do is combine this template with other view formatting. This will simply set up a additional node uh, called command bar props, um, and you can copy and paste that um, into other templates to use them both. So there's a description. There are default options which are going to appear unless you explicitly exclude them. And then there's a long list of all the different uh, possible commands. Um, I believe there are 62 or about something like that. In general, what I would recommend is that you first start um, by removing anything that you don't want to see. So we'll do that just to start. So we're going to look at the library and there are some things that I don't want to see in this library. Um, so for example, if I want to exclude add shortcut to OneDrive and automate and integrate, I'm just going to add those onto the list. So I come back over to my template and I just go like this. I find it in here. Um, so there's add shortcut. I'm going to click exclude. It gets added to my excluded list. The preview window will update so you have an idea of what's going to happen. Notice that the list options and the library options are different. It may or may not be applicable. Okay, so there's add shortcut. I'm getting rid of that. And then also I want to get rid of automate and integrate. So I'm going to also find those in my list. So go here and pick automate, exclude, and then also integrate. And, that, and I'm excluding these because maybe these just aren't applicable or the users I'm working with aren't going to be using those options. And what you can do is just copy the code over and you're going to see the options disappear as soon as you apply that code. Okay, you see all the menu update and those options are no longer there. So that's a good place to start by removing options that you know that your users are never going to use. Now, additional to that, you can customize the commands. Maybe this is an approval library and I want to change the wording. This says upload. Uh, maybe I want to use a different icon as well. So we'll look at how that would work. So that what I'm going to do is select the upload option because that's the one I want to change. And I'm going to give it a different icon. It's going to be a star and I'm going to change the words that'll appear next to the upload command. So I'm going to say upload approval document. Okay, I put in all my commands and now I need to click on include and you're going to see that the upload command was removed and replaced with my custom version of that with the star. So now I can copy that and paste it over to my library. And now you can see that I have my own customized version of the upload button. 
still going to work the same. I'm just customizing and making it more specific to this use case. And that's the general process for working with these. Another option I'll mention, you can click the reset to uh, set it back to the default state. Another alternative also, you can use the none and this will exclude everything. Normally that's probably something you shouldn't do because many of these options are very useful. But if you want to do that, what's gonna happen is it's going to tell SharePoint to exclude all of those default options um, if you wanna completely do your own uh, custom command bar from scratch. Good luck.